One thing I encounter a lot with really old computers that don't want to turn on, no particular reason. Let's say they're a Pentium 4 or an old AMD Athlon X2. So probably a Windows 7, an older machine, but mainly Windows XP based machines. With them, you hit the power button, you get a fan spinning, you get lights on the front, you get no post, no picture on the screen. Typically with these machines, the first thing I look for is the RAM modules in the machine. So as you can see with this computer right here, you can see a fan in the center, and just to the right where I was wiggling my thumb, there was these green rectangle chips inserted in the board. And from there, I was just giving them a simple wiggle with the power disconnected and the machine switched off. That should hopefully be enough to be able to power up your old machine one last time, a few more times, hard to say, but at least be able to get the machine going just for a little bit longer. I'm not sure why it is. It's like the, the contact points don't make full contact after sitting around for years or the motherboard starts failing and resitting the RAM ends up kicking it back into gear. I'm not too sure. But yeah, this technique usually works the majority of the time when I have seen computers with this issue. You'll also find when you look down there, there are some white plastic clips. On the board, you should be able to push them down and you'll see the thin rectangle RAM module stick up. And what you can do there is just lift it slightly up and then push it back down. So you'll see that here. I've given these ones just a bit of a wiggle. I've pushed the clips down as you can see and I'm doing that at the top as well. And from there I can pull that out. Now these do only fit in one way which you should be able to see on the bottom a small little cutout. That does have to match up on the board. You can't put them in reverse so you can't put them in the wrong way. Bam that one has had the RAM reinstalled. And here's a different angle again. So the reason why I've got a, quite a few different cases here getting it done is purely just to give you an eye, like a possible chance that some of these may look similar to your older computer. Because all computers don't really, they, the layout of them is very similar, but the insides of them may be different colors, different cable layout. But hopefully this gives you a bit of an idea and hopefully the confidence to attempt this yourself and hopefully you might be able to kick your old computer up one last time to get your data off it and, or do what you need to do. Anyway, I hope you find this helpful and I'll catch you in the next one.